Hey guys, iOS 17, Developer Beta 4, and Public Beta 2 have been out for a couple of days now. It's been nearly a week since Apple released or re-released iOS 17, Developer Beta 4, and Public Beta 2. They were released on July the 31st. So of course, in this video, I want to give you guys a quick follow-up in regards to bugs, battery performance. I want to talk about additional new features and changes. And it looks like we may finally have a date for Apple's iPhone 15 announcements. Next Apple event will be coming soon, so let's go ahead and dive right into this video so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the battery and performance with iOS 17 developer beta 4 now there's been mixed results I always ask you guys on YouTube on my YouTube community polls let's go there first and I ask you guys how is iOS 17 developer beta 4 and public beta 2 working for you by the way there's a thousand six hundred votes here and a 54% of you guys say you're having a great experience, which is a good thing, of course. 35% say there's still some bugs. It's okay, but there's still some bugs. And 11% of you guys say it is very, very buggy. Now, if we take a look at some of the comments here, basically iOS 17 Developer Beta 4 has been a really good software update so far, a good beta, but some of you guys have mixed results when it comes to battery performance. And that's where I want to get at first because I know a lot of you guys continue to ask about the battery performance and iOS 17 developer beta 4 in my personal experience I can get through my entire day without having to recharge my iPhone but the battery could get better especially on smaller devices keep in mind I have a large iPhone 14 Pro Max so I get through my entire day and a lot of you guys with smaller devices say that the battery sucks the battery could get better and you're right a lot of the battery issues continue to be addressed here this is still beta software keep that in mind but we've seen some improvements beta over Beta. Now, in terms of bugs, also you guys report some crashing of third party applications. That is to be expected. Keep in mind, this is still beta software. It hasn't been released to the public yet. So, a lot of the developers have not updated their applications to support the software properly just yet. That will be addressed here in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, we'll talk about expected release dates and when we can expect Apple's next event as well. Now, I also want to talk about some of the freezing. Some of you guys are saying the lock screen would freeze on you, the control center will freeze on you I've only experienced one freeze and that is on the lock screen when I went to unlock my iPhone I enter the passcode and it froze the iPhone for a couple of seconds but aside from that I haven't encountered any additional freezing issues with iOS 17 developer beta 4 now keep in mind this is the same beta for public beta testers beta 2 before we continue I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors K school and the K school magic stand case this is my go-to case I use it every single day of course the highlighted feature is the magic stand here which by the way is very sturdy and it improves the MagSafe user experience as it is magnetic you can use it with all your MagSafe accessories by the way it is available in various color I love this one that allows you to see the actual color of the iPhone with the highlighted black surroundings here so I like this black and clear version I love this one the most and of course it protects your camera module it protects your display by overlapping the display they're durable and the magic stand case of course can use the case to actually prop it up to watch videos videos, watch movies, TV shows, FaceTime calls. I use it every single day. It's my favorite case. So make sure you check out K-School's Magic Stand case. Of course, all the links and any special deals will be available for you guys in the links in the description. So thank you to K-School for sponsoring today's video. Now, I want to talk about some of the minor changes that I've noticed after using the software as well, because as I mentioned before, Apple continues to add minor stuff to the software, sprinkling in some little surprises within the OS that help improve the user experience as well. And I want to talk about the shortcuts application so if we go into the shortcuts application here and we click add shortcut right here apple has added a new option for cameras as you can see right there we have new shortcuts for cameras and if we click in here you see that we have all these options available or preset options for the camera of your iPhone so you can set the camera for selfie video portrait mode of course all the options available as you can see right here cinematic slow motion time lapse and portrait mode or panoramic mode I should say right there towards the end and now when you click on open camera you have the ability to actually tap here and choose which mode you want your camera to launch at which is super cool let's say I want to go ahead and select video Video here I can click done and now I can add that shortcut to the actual shortcuts of my iPhone and if I go to the lock screen I can actually go into customizing here and actually add that shortcut to launch the camera of my iPhone in video mode using this new extension that Apple has added so I can add the extension here tap on the actual shortcut and select the shortcut that I want to go ahead and launch from here so we're gonna go with the camera one there which is the one that we just 
add it here. We're going to click done. And now if I launch the camera directly from the lock screen, you see that I go directly into video mode with the new extension that Apple has added. Of course, you can also add this to the home screen of your iPhone. You can create a shortcut directly by clicking on the share options here, and then you can add it to home screen right here. And now you can have that shortcut for video recording directly on the home screen of your iPhone. So minor things that help improve the user experience here. Apple continues to add and build upon the shortcuts app, which I'm really loving. And Apple will continue to expand this. Of course, with the iPhone 15 coming soon, the rumor action button, a lot could be done with the shortcuts application. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the near future, which brings me to the next topic. There's a rumored of Apple's next release date for the iPhone 15 or Apple's announcement. The latest rumors, according to 9 to 5 Mac, it appears that Apple could be announcing the iPhone 15 on September the 13th. Now, I previously mentioned September the 12th. Now, these days are not confirmed yet. Apple has not confirmed these dates, but September the 12th or September the 13th may be the announcement for the iPhone 15 with pre-orders going on September the 15th in the official launch, September the 22nd. Now, for the next beta, for now, the next beta, iOS 17, developer beta 5, and public beta 3. We can expect the next beta to be released on the week of the 7th of August. So next week here coming up, we see the next beta. We have maybe two more betas to go, maybe the release candidate right after that, and then an official release of iOS 17 towards the week of the 18th of September. Remember, the iPhone is set to be launching sometimes towards the end of September, and iOS and iPhones, of course, go hand in hand. The new operating system with the new iPhones usually go hand in hand. So if the rumors of the official release date is on the 22nd, it means on the 18th of September, we can expect the official final release of iOS 17, the official final version. So the next beta happening next week, maybe two to three more betas, including the RC, the release candidate, and then an official release towards the middle of September with the new iPhone 15, which is rumored to be announced on September the 13th. So mark your calendars. We're getting really close here to an official release. We're getting really close to the iPhone 15 as well. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you guys that quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.